Greg Jarrett, Susan Rice likely committed three crimes. Better get herself a good criminal defense attorney. Fox News contributor and attorney Greg Jarrett went on Hannity to discuss Susan Rice's criminal behavior. Jarrett says Rice committed at least three crimes and she better get a good criminal defense attorney. Greg Jarrett, Susan Rice, who's got a lot to answer for. She is sort of the queen of the false narrative, which is a polite way of saying lie, quote. She not only lied about the Benghazi case and Bo Bergdahl, but then she hauls off and tells Judy Woodruff, I don't know anything about incidental collection, and then when she gets caught red-handed, she says, okay, I knew about it, but I never asked for the unmasking of Trump transition officials. Well, now the NSC has the goods on her, and that appears to be a lie as well. So she may have actually committed three potential crimes here. One, it's a crime to lie about your ma masking request. Two, it's a crime for you to use your office for political purpose. Three, it's a crime to leak unmasked details. She better get herself a good criminal defense attorney. Let's take a listen. To you about this. So what should the president do about these deep state leaks? They are incredibly disturbing. And can you imagine if it was happening in another administration, the uproar? He should encourage his Department of Justice to investigate, Congress to investigate. And look, Susan Rice has got a lot to answer for. She is sort of the queen of the false narrative, which is a polite way of saying lies. That's very true. Um, she not only lied about the Benghazi case and Bert Bo Bergdahl, but then she hauls off and tells Judy Woodruff, I don't know anything about incidental collection. When she gets caught red-handed, she says, well, okay, I knew all about it, but I never un uh, asked for the unmasking mm -hmm. of Trump transition officials. Well, now the NSC has the goods on her, and that appears to be sure. a lie as well. Right. So she may have actually committed three potential crimes here. One, it's a crime to lie in your unmasking request. Yeah. Number two, it's a crime to use your office for uh -huh. political purpose. And number three, it's a crime to leak the unmasked sure. name. She better get herself a good criminal defense attorney. Yeah, this is a huge, huge problem. What do you make of it? Well, I can tell you this, Kimberly, that for, for us, uh, I heard her recent report that she said maybe gender and race had something to do with everybody targeting her for the unmasking. John Solomon and I at Circa, we broke those stories on unmasking, yes. and it wasn't based on gender or race. It was based on documented fact, actually declassified documents that John and I obtained that showed that the Obama administration actually loosened the rules in 2011 and did so again in 2015. And what we saw was an increase in unmasking from 2011 until after the election, yeah. all the way through December, over 300% increase and exponentially from November to December. So this had nothing to do with race or gender. This has to do with documented fact and the fact that the Obama administration had loosened the rules so much that they would allow them, their officials like Susan Rice, right. Samantha Power, and John Brennan to unmask. And what kind of this is an unbelievable wide latitude of grotesque invasion of privacy, right. improper in every way, and that increase that Sarah just talked about, that is no coincidence given the timing of when this transpired. Well, absolutely not. And apparently they have evidence, the NSC once again investigated, handed it over to Congress, that uh, while she was claiming that I want these names unmasked for national security reasons, the documents on their face mm -hmm. appear to be for political reasons. Trump transition plans, uh, the people they're going to meet, the president to be uh, views on foreign policies. If the documents on their face have nothing whatsoever to do with national security, I don't know how she defends herself against the crimes I identified. Uh, I think you're absolutely right. Hmm. That's why Obama's taking a trip, a long trip somewhere where, where nobody's finding him, really. 
he's he's waiting for all this to play out to see if he wants to come back <laughs> let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching